Hey, what's going on? This is JP from Golf Heads, and we're back with another video, but this time we're talking about the Vessel Player 5 Pro Golf Bag. When you think of Vessel, you think of the high quality materials and the beautiful aesthetic, but I will say they really engineered this bag with the golfer in mind. And it is by far the best bag I've ever owned in my entire golfing career. Um, although it is a stand bag, you know, it comes with the legs, it comes with the sh shoulder straps. So if you do like to carry or walk, um, that option is there for you. Some of the new features that were added on is really suitable for the power cart or the push cart. I would say if you are a golfer that does ride or use a push cart more often, this one, definitely the bag for you. So we're just gonna walk through the entire experience of us unboxing it and then showing you just all the little details. We're gonna do more product stuff. That's really what our channel is about. If you do like this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, we got some more videos coming for out. You. Jay knows I've been wanting to upgrade a bag for a long time. Hell yeah. All right, Ash, let's go, let's go from the top down, all the features. Okay, so right off rip, one of the things you'll notice, new bag, seven way or the 14 way, which we'll show afterwards. But this additional pocket that they created with the seven does obviously expand the width of the bag. And then one of the big features on the pro, the cart bag handles, which you haven't really seen on the previous models of the player. And then carbon fiber legs again, just like, they, it really has like a bit of a car feel to it when you're unboxing it and going through all the features of the bag and down to the carbon fiber, you know, style on the, on the kickstand is kind of nice. Yeah. The custom cart tag. So if you want to wrap your bag up on a cart, this is what you'd be using. Yeah. Your bag's not going anywhere. It's like a premium leather premium. sleeve. Yeah, yeah and, well, they designed that so that it wouldn't scuff up your bag, especially if you went with the white one. Yeah. But as you're, you know, carts aren't always the cleanest. Yep. Uh, now you have that extra level, level of protection. There is a cart strap pass-through, so you might have missed this, but it does protect the exterior of the bag from the straps, um, but also it does cut that corner so you get more leverage from the strap, whether you're on a push cart or a power cart. Uh, another thing with their arm straps, like the shoulder straps, it's kind of cool. This is like a piece that you'll see on previous iterations, is that the clips can only go so far. Yeah. So it actually keeps everything very ergonomic and very balanced. So when you're picking this up, even on the fly, I can imagine with obviously a full bag, it's gonna feel pretty heavy. Mm -hmm. This is gonna keep things balanced and actually get, make it a bit of a better kind of user experience. If you wanna take them off, just quick little snap of both those clips and this whole thing's off for you. When we look at some of the clips, like again, I talked about this badge, custom vessel bag, vessel bag tag. Uh, a lot of the pockets you'll see that have this strap are actually magnetic pockets. This is like a velvet kind of finish on here. Uh, super soft if you're putting anything delicate or sunglasses, glasses, anything like that. Phone. Maybe your phone, range finder, more some of those accessories. Another pocket here, again, strap on the inside. Like these guys really thought about all the little details. Like a keys on there. A hundred percent. Your locker key, if you, are, if you remember at a course. Yeah. And then you have your big pocket here, which again, most people are familiar with. Oh. Look at that little surprise there. Oh, cover cover for the for the top of the bag. Yeah, man. Again, you gotta give it to them. Like the little details are all there. Custom buttons. Like this is for a lot of brands. This becomes an afterthought. Yeah. For them to give that that same kind of care is is pretty awesome. Inside here, you do have an additional pocket just to keep things from moving around too much. But there's another zipper pocket there. Oh yeah, man. The secret compartments everywhere. Got the park pockets. Oh, oh a little lock. A little custom lock, which is awesome. One thing you'll notice is the pockets, even though they kind of overlap with each other, are not really interfering with each other. Mm -hmm. So again, for like a practical use, like you're not actually sacrificing any of your main primary pocket space. I mean, you could easily fit a hoodie, a rain jacket, anything in there. This is probably my favorite pocket on all the Vessel bags. They're kind of like, the, I think the anchors behind the whole magnetic pocket mm -hmm. uh, but this time they included this additional like insert yeah i think it's that one perfect. fits the range finder pretty perfectly. oh there you go range finder right there again the finish you're not worried about any of your stuff getting damaged yeah. scuffed up dirty like again those little touches uh i think they took it all the way and then primary ball pocket usually i'm assuming most people keep balls here tag there oh yeah the official look at it. again the little things man 
Sorry, I took your uh, <laughs> unboxing experience from you there, Jay. It's all good. Cool. Yeah, it's a pretty big pocket, the front. Yeah, so golf balls, you have, again, additional little inserts here. Yeah. So you can keep things a little bit more organized. Balls, gloves, all of those little things that you need on the fly. Mm -hmm. For me, I don't really drink, but my sunscreen, I'm probably tucking it right there. Mm -hmm. Put a water bottle there. Yeah, so having the dual, you can see here if you, there's two magnets that are kind of hidden behind the fold there. And that's what's keeping this whole thing closed up. Um, but it's lined all the way through, so you really aren't worried about things falling out. And it is insulated on the inside, which is a nice little touch if you have your, you know, cold beverage or whatever with you. Nice. Yeah, so again, another dual pocket. Fully insulated. This is where you're hiding all the good stuff. By good stuff, I mean like Snickers bars. Anything you want to keep relatively cold. Yeah, Kit Kats, whatever your chocolate fix is. Like Ash. Again, little details, the clips, the the custom little strap. Um, like I said earlier, anytime you see a handle like this, it's probably a pocket. Yeah. And so this is another nice one. I personally would probably put my glove or something like that here. Mm -hmm. uh, I play with an elbow sleeve sometimes, that kind of stuff I would keep there. So the bottom here, it's very flexible. So it stays flush on the ground. Oh, interesting. Yeah. yeah, so that's a cool. So as you didn't see that at first, but Jay, you're right. So this actually stays uniform. Mm -hmm. And then it's almost like it's spring loaded at the front so that as it drops back, mm -hmm. The front here actually opens up a bit and you can kind of see this groove here is looks like where the rotation point is this point here yeah as i bring it up that kind of comes back in the spot yeah and the whole thing i mean again this is empty right now but this bag is not going anywhere no added padding on the side yeah, again actually you just called that out but another comparison like they took the leather all the way through yeah so none of this additional padding and stuff again it's just the the material is one you'll notice um it's like not a soft leather but it's, it's it looks durable but yeah it feels more if, matte actually. and something about it without it having that kind of shiny finish it feels a bit more premium yeah it doesn't feel as like uh yeah it honestly just doesn't feel cheap like some of the other faux leather you see yeah. out there bag is all good to go put all the clubs in Looks good, man. How does it feel? Balanced? Yeah, the straps feel amazing. Very comfortable. You know, there was a little bit of weight to it, but you can walk a full 18, no problem. Ash, what'd you think? This is easily the best bag I've ever had. Easily? Like, I actually love this thing. It's the functionality. Like, the pockets aren't there just for show. Like, everything actually has a place. Yeah, it has a purpose yeah. behind it. Which, honestly, I haven't really had in a bag, so. Yeah. All right, and there you have it. That is our Vessel Player 5 Pro uh, overview slash review. Um, really just our first impressions of the bag. Just a top quality bag. Uh, one of the best that you will find in the market. So if you are looking to invest, hopefully you got all the information you need. Uh, I would say yes, it is a definitely an investment. As I was using the bag, I kept finding kind of new features and there's just so much to go through. So. It really has everything you can ask for in a bag, um, but Vessel Golf, uh, check it out. I'll probably leave some links below. And thanks for watching. Peace.